The Earl and Countess are likely to be providing comfort to the Queen after doctors recently advised the 95-year-old monarch to take an extended period of rest. The Queen underwent preliminary medical investigations in hospital earlier this month after cancelling a planned trip to Northern Ireland. At the weekend, Buckingham Palace announced that doctors had suggested she now rest for at least another two weeks. All official visits have been wiped from the Queen's diary and she will only carry out light, desk-based duties. This decision has seen the Queen pull out of the COP2 Climate Change Summit in Glasgow, where she was due to meet world leaders. Instead, the monarch held meetings with some delegates via video call from her Windsor Castle. The royal residence is located just 11 miles from Bagshot Park, the sprawling Grade 2 listed property home to Sophie, 5 and Edward, 57. After marrying the Queen's youngest son in 1999, the Countess of Wessex has forged a close bond with Her Majesty. She has been a close companion for Britain's longest-serving monarch during some of the darkest periods of her reign. Sophie was reportedly a key emotional support to the Queen when the Queen Mother died in 2002 and in the wake of Princess Diana's death in 1997, which was even before she married Edward. Sophie and Edward's shared experience of the royal family's emotional turmoil, as well as its disadvantages, also gave them a strong foundation for their own relationship, according to the journalist Sandra Bola. The former editor of Brides and Setting Up Home magazine spoke to the 1999 documentary, Prince Edward and Sophie Rhys-Jones, The True Story, which was filmed before the couple tied the knot. She said, they've spent several years after all under the same roof. They have experience of the strains and the enormous emotional turmoil of the royal family at a hideous time in the last 10 years for them. They've seen the damage. They've watched. They've seen the sort of disadvantages of being royal. I think that both of them have found something in each other, at least I hope they have, that will sustain them as a couple in the future. The Queen experienced further heartbreak in April of this year following the death of her husband, Prince Philip. The palace said it was with deep sorrow that Her Majesty announced the death of the Duke of Edinburgh, who passed away aged 99. Following the Duke's passing, Sophie provided a touching insight into her father-in-law's final moments as she spoke after a service to remember him at All Saints Chapel in Windsor. She said, it was right for him. It was so gentle. It was just like somebody took him by the hand and off he went. Very, very peaceful and that's all you want for somebody isn't it? So, I think it's so much easier for the person that goes than the people that are left behind. Royal commentator Richard Fitzwilliams told Express.co.uk that Sophie is extremely close to the Queen and was comforted by her as she mourned Philip's passing. He said, of all the statements put out by members of the royal family after Prince Philip's death, the interview given by the Countess of Wessex was the most moving and emotional. She described Prince Philip's death as if someone took him by the hand and then he went very peaceful, which is what you want for somebody I sent it. She said this to a member of the public and it touched people's hearts.